When the world's largest lithium battery storage facility caught fire in Moss Landing, California, the Monterey County 911 call center got slammed with panic callers just looking for information. I mean, we were getting data with my own calls. But unlike the past, thanks to AI, IT pros were able to reprogram the system on the fly. So you were able to put up a filter from all the calls Correct. that were coming in in real time. Yes. And you were able to do that from a laptop. Correct. That meant callers who weren't in danger got the information they were looking for while dispatchers were free to continue to answer for life-saving emergencies. They could go in and they can give public announcements and public information in near real time and say, hey, here's the evacuation routes or here's the areas to avoid. We'll have officers check it as soon as we can, okay? It's part of a new artificial intelligence system called Connect by Amazon's Web Services, now in place at more than 150 call centers across the United States. If you call a non-emergency police or fire number, an AI answers and routes your calls, saving these live operators for true emergencies. It frees us up and allows us to concentrate, again, on the 911 calls that are coming in, on the emergency calls that are coming in on the non-emergency line, because that does happen. So it's letting the humans do what humans do best. Yes, yeah, saving lives. It's allowing us to respond to 911 calls faster. Leslie Reganti has spent decades working in emergency call centers, and she says this new tech is a game changer for the 50,000 monthly calls the Monterey County Center gets. It's handling 35% of our non-emergency line. When, when people call with a question, uh, how does the AI know where to route? Based on some of the words that that they're using, um, it will ask, do you need a, to speak to a police officer? Do you want to make a police report? If they say yes, it'll say, would you like to make a report online? 911. In addition to a limited number of humans, emergency call centers only have so many phone lines. And that can be a problem during, say, a car crash at a major intersection where a lot of people call in to report the same thing. The AI can help triage those calls and free up lines. They're going to be setting up the LZ for the helicopter there. If you have 20 lines, the 21st caller gets put on hold. A artificial intelligence tool will actually pick up that 21st call and say, I see you're calling from this location. Are you calling about this accident? Yes. Are you injured? No. Okay, you can hang up because we're aware of the accident. Well, that, what that does is that frees up a 911 line. Are there times where people will think that they're calling the police department hoping to talk to somebody, they find themselves talking to AI and are routed back here? If the system doesn't understand the question or doesn't have the answer, it automatically routes it back to human being. And that human element is key. Is this helping with some of the, the burnout that you see? I believe it is helping with the stress by the system being able to take some of that workload off. Ironically, on this day of AI assisting with the call volume, the number of calls has also grown exponentially because of another kind of tech. Wearable devices like iWatches or phones that will call 911 automatically. Sometimes it's a crash or a fall, other times. Did you fall down? No? Okay, because your watch called and said that you had taken a hard fall. False alarms. That was a watch? That was fault, yeah, a fall detection. So we'll get a recording and it gives us, it'll say the owner of this Apple phone or Apple watch has taken a hard fall. For now, any help with the added workload is appreciated by those whose biggest focus is on something only humans can do. Someone whose loved one is having a medical emergency, AI can't calm these people down and get the information that they need. So you'll always need humans for that. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.